we put 60 billion, 20 billion to dams. on a dam, which in a sense cannot take even 1 billion. And then 20 years down the line, 15 years down the line, 10 years down the line, 5 years down the line, nothing has happened. Africa must wake up. We must wake up. Otherwise, we shall be extinct. If you look at the reasons, and the history that gives you why some animals are no longer in existence, extinct animals, one denominator runs, uh, 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 runs across. The people who exploit us cannot allow us to trade among ourselves freely. Because if we did so, they would lose their markets. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? All right. So they will continue lying to us. And you're just in time for yet another edition of Business Glide here on Hamon Manyora's channel. My name is Richard Mwenja. Now, climate change con continues to be a, big, a bigger threat to the Kenyan economy. And uh, as of now, we have seen uh, negative impacts of climate change really derailing the growth of our Kenyan economy. Now, it also continues to exacerbate some of the problems you already face in talk of poverty levels, food security, etc. Now, how do we respond to this in no mean time? Besides... What strategies have been put there by the government to ensure that we don't really succumb to fatalities that come with negative effects of climate change? To bring this conversation into context, I'm joined by none other than renowned political analyst and strategist, Haman Manyora. So welcome on set. Thank you, Richard. All right. Barely a month ago, we saw Kenya sent a strong delegate to uh, for the COP26 uh, climate summit. Yeah. And uh, what we need as a country, as of now, I think we should restructure, we look at development agenda. Because if you look at, at in Nairobi right now, we are having massive infrastructure developments which are doing away with our lands, our green cover in the region. Would you say going ahead, we need really to rethink uh, how we balance between infrastructural development and also the place of our ecosystems? I don't think Kenya is there. Mm -hmm. No, no. That we are doing too much development, mm -hmm. we are doing too much industrialization. No, we just need to grow knowing is a, is, is a matter of concern. Uh -huh. But we are not yet there. All right. We don't, we are nowhere near bothering ourselves about infrastructure development. Mm -hmm. We are nowhere near bothering ourselves with emissions from industries. Mm -hmm. We are nowhere. Kenya is at the level of doing the most basic things. Most basic, low-hanging fruits. People cultivating land on sloppy hills, you know, <laughs> pumping, pumping dirt into Lake Victoria, mm -hmm. pumping pesticides into Lake Naivasha. All right. Industrial waste into our rivers. Uh -huh. We are that low basic level of environmental concerns. Matters of climate change for us will come later. But we've been a regular delega delegation on these climate summits, year in, year uh, out. They just go there, do shopping and talk English. But it's nothing. It's nothing. There are countries with these issues. We are forcing America. Uh -huh. We are forcing the Chinese. We mm -hmm. are forcing Europe mm -hmm. to look at the industrialization and the, uh, and the damage they are causing. Mm -hmm. Kenya is the level of just doing something about forestation, forest cover. Let's move it to 7%, 10%. That's uh -huh. where we are. Basic. Okay. But in terms of industrialization, we are nowhere. We don't feature anywhere. Absolutely. Infrastructure development. We are, we, are not, we are not mining oil offshore in a manner that can threaten the environment. Mm -hmm. We are really not quite there. But right. mm -hmm. small things that cause uh, soil erosion, Small things that are causing our rivers to, to dry, small things that are affecting our legs. And, and basically, mm -hmm. we need to be careful about our, 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 our forest cover. I see. Yeah. The Kenyan youth isn't much about the politics of climate change or the economics of climate change. But yes. uh, from where they are sitting, they really see something has to be done. Do you support the view that uh, we, it's high time we listen to the Kenyan youth's voice with regards to climate change? Yeah, yeah, they know this is their country. This is their uh -huh. future. Mm -hmm. When you talk climate change, we are talking about future. Uh -huh. When you talk about future, we are not talking about manure. We're talking about you, Richard. Uh -huh. So you must be concerned. We must listen to you. Mm -hmm. Again, you people, you are interacting with knowledge more than us. I see. The young people who know these things. To us, you can see the way I'm taking it. Maybe I don't even understand it. Uh -huh. You people understand it. It's about your future. All right. So we should listen to you. All right.
Yeah. Uh, talking about climate change, and uh, we've seen increased drought cycles. We've seen the issue that has been around our acid, uh, acid uh, arid and semi-arid lands. Yes. And uh, do you th think it's high time we integrate climate change in every of our decisions, both at devolved government and at national government levels? You know, some things we should mitigate. Uh -huh. For example, the extreme suffering. Mm -hmm. Forget about even the climate change. Extreme mm -hmm. suffering mm -hmm. occasioned by droughts in those asal areas. Yeah. This is something the 21st 21st century. Shouldn't be an issue. Israel is a desert. But look, you wouldn't know. Libya had been turned into a green land by Gaddafi. True. Look here, with all these masses of water in this country, mm -hmm. it's a pity that northeastern Kenya, northern Kenya, places like Trukana, I did, I, I, I was part of something that featured on BBC sometimes back, mm -hmm. when that huge mass of water was discovered somewhere in Trukana, mm -hmm. that could be used in Africa for I don't know how many. Mm -hmm. So, even before you go into such extremes, mm -hmm. we have sufficient water. So to turn a dry areas into farmlands, so even before we talk about big things, mm -hmm. how difficult is it for Kenya to pump water into Mandera? How difficult, surely, in the 21st century? With all this technology, and with all the resources that we have, yeah. what do we do instead? We put 60 billion, 20 billion to dams. on a dam which in a sense cannot take even one billion. And then 20 years down the line, 15 years down the line, 10 years down the line, five years down the line, nothing has happened. The tractors that are on site, trees have gone run under them. <laughs> Back really? to what I've said. Uh -huh. Unless we become serious as a people, we shall be wiped out of the face of this world. We Africans, not just Kenya. Mm -hmm. Africa must wake up. We must wake up. Otherwise, we shall be extinct. If you look at the reasons the history that gives you why some animals are no longer in existence. Extinct animals. One denominator runs, a, 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 runs across. Animals mm -hmm. that did, were not good at environmental adaptability. Animals that could not do proper thinking, yeah. if, you, if, you, if you allow it. Law of natural selection. Yeah, so the law of natural selection wipes you out. And the African is pushing himself in that direction. So as Kenyans, mm -hmm. the beginning point, and I'll repeat this, people may be annoyed, they may be irritated. Mm -hmm. We must stop, we must start using our brains. We must think through all these issues. Okay. Otherwise we shall be wiped out of the face of this world. And I know you mean today, if not yesterday. It must be yesterday. All right. Yes. African free trade continental, continental area is here with us, and this means a wider market for the Kenyan goods and services. Now, this will see our value chains really be, uh, being scaled up and by large our uh, industrialization. How do we now strike a delicate balance between the two? Yes, we are industrializing to meet this huge market brought about by the African free trade continental area, but also we need to look at now how much we are emitting to the environment. Those are just jokes. Mm -hmm. As early as 2008 or thereabout, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton, while visiting here, mm -hmm. she told us, why are you looking for markets in, in Europe? Your population is almost two, three times that of Europe. At that time, Africa was about seven, eight hundred billion people. Your market is bigger than American market four times. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking for, you have the markets here. But unfortunately for you, this is just talk. Okay. These are just phrase, popular words and phrases. Africa free trade area, area. commerce, uh, oh, the yeah. rubbish. They don't mean anything. The people who exploit us cannot allow us to trade among ourselves freely. Because if we did so, they would lose their markets. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? All right. So they will continue lying to us. So that going from here to West Africa and by air is three times what you need to go to Dubai, perhaps. All right. You see, mm -hmm. uh, 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 and uh, even as we do that, I have told you, Africa has not reached anywhere where we can say exploiting anything can lead to climate change or to disaster. We are not there. Okay. Yeah. I see. Uh, we are seeing uh, our efforts uh, with regards to mitigating climate change not really bearing much fruits over time. Yes. And uh, countries like Rwanda, talk of Brazil, they have adopted, say, a green energy. And also when it comes to the transport system, they're really trying to be heavy on solar-powered vehicles, yes. on uh, cycling, much more of cycling, other than now carbon emissions from all over the place. Why haven't we dragged our feet with regards now to bring in, say, the cycling culture in Kenya, solar-powered vehicles, electric vehicles, yet we have all this... I have said, uh, mm -hmm. 
we are not at that stage where this should be of major concern. Mm -hmm. So we have the time others don't have. Uh -huh. In the intervening period, before we get to a point where industrialization mm -hmm. will be a risk, mm -hmm. where infrastructure development will be a risk, before we reach there, we have time to research. We have time to, to benefit mm -hmm. from what others have done by way of research. I see. Why would Germans have excess solar energy? Mm -hmm. To the point they even ask people to use it. Look at us and them who enjoys the sun. Mm -hmm. With all this sun, we should be leading in matters of solar energy. Uh -huh. Look at how much wind you get in Kenya. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, there were windmills, you know. All over the place. Yeah, for grinding maize, maize flour, yeah, and something like that. So we need to move into that because we have the time. We can invest in research. Mm -hmm. And in future, it will be a good thing for us. And talking of climate change and uh, rainfall, God has midway our show. That's God good. is really listening to our prayers, I yes, see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Your favorite Kenya Defense Forces are years on and uh, led the environmental soldier program, and they are planting millions of trees. Would you say this is the way to go for state cooperation and private sector through their community social responsibilities? I, I think so. I think uh -huh. each one of us, mm -hmm. individually and uh, collectively, mm -hmm. and as organizations and institutions, mm -hmm. we must mind our, our environment. Uh -huh. Children, school children, university students, mm -hmm. each one of us. Okay. Uh, uh, the KDF is not just my favorite. It's uh -huh. because they are just about the only people who can do something in this country. Okay. I, I like people who can do something. And if our KDF does something, we must appreciate them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, not, it's not politics or anything. Mm -hmm. They are just the kind of people you give something and they do it. All right. They came to the university, Moy asked them to do that graduation thing, what do you call it? Chancellor's Court. All right. And there was a major, a late major friend of mine, God rest his soul, major, I think Momani. Ah. They just spent so little money, Moy was shocked. So we must learn from what KDF is doing. Okay. And other people must plant trees. We must plant trees. Absolutely. But stop grabbing land. Uh -huh. Planting trees means nothing. Mm -hmm. In a country where people grab every available space, mm -hmm. people must get the hell out of the mouth. And other forest cover areas, mm -hmm. other, other water towers, mm -hmm. because this is about our future. Mm -hmm. It's not politics. It's not about tribe. Uh -huh. It's not about some quick gains or oh, I'll get political mileage if I settle my people. No, it's about future. It's about 500 years from now, whether they will be Kenya. We must plant trees, yes. But there must be a place to plant trees. Mm -hmm. And the plant trees we have planted must be allowed to grow. Mm -hmm. If we encroach on every available space and grab it mm -hmm. and give it to our people, give it to ourselves, then we are easy. it will come to nothing. Uh -huh. But again, this, all this is not possible until we are courageous enough and I'm waiting for William Ruto. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for Raila Odinga to be courageous enough and tell me about land. What is they are thinking on land ownership in this country? I see. Maximum acreage. Who owns what? What do we do with the idle land? What do we do speculators? Unless they pronounce themselves on that, mm -hmm. we can give them our votes just because we shall vote, not because they will change anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the very last, going into the future, do you see a much more solid political will with regards to now going big on climate change adaptation and res res resilience? I think <coughs> climate change... It's one of those things over which we have no choice. Uh -huh. The big industrialized countries are behaving as if mm -hmm. they have no eyes and they have no ears. Mm -hmm. But this is something over which mankind, mankind, mankind has no choice. Mm -hmm. All of us. I mean, it is real. We face a bleak future. The world as we know it may cease to exist mm -hmm. unless we are true we look at what is happening. Mm -hmm. We appreciate that unless we do move in the direction of mitigating climate change, we shall all perish. Okay. So it's not something over which we have choice. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that point by Haman Manyora takes us to the wrap of a conversation today. And of course, it is no longer a secret. We need to really build our capacity with regards to climate change adaptation and resilience, just so to ensure we safeguard our economy against the brunt of the negative impacts of climate change. Until next time on Business Glide, my name is Richard Mwenja. But before we leave, our fan of the week is Jen Jambi from Burnt Forest. From Burnt Forest, Jen Jambi, Hau Jambo, 
we appreciate you. We thank you for being a member of this family. Uh -huh. And please invite more of your friends and relatives to subscribe and join this family. All right. Thank you. Up next on your screen is the Business Glide African Proverb of the Day.